Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. I'm your Game Master Darius. I don't know what was with that. Uh, as we left off, we had blown up a wall, made our way through a small little maze, and now we are here in the town of Romali, which is a nice little town, actually. They got some better armor and equipment. Uh, a little bit pricey, but it's good. We'll get to that when we get to that, I assure you. Some items, as does most places have. Uh, they do have leather hats. Hmm. Do I want the leather hats? Probably should get some leather hats. But anyways, let's go talk around the town. Supposedly, the Archbeam is planning to destroy the world. Not sure what to believe anymore. Uh, oh. And then this part right here. We're gonna be abusing this. Only monsters are allowed to fight in this ring. But I wanna fight! You're not from here, are you? Well then, why don't you make some fast casts and some good memories while you're here in Romilly? If you'd like to watch the match, then you should go place your bets at the counter. Shh! Please be quiet, I'm trying to concentrate. On watching the match? Ha! I'm unstoppable. This is it! Do your thing! Nothing is gonna going nothing is going my way today. So this is gambling. Welcome to the exciting monster arena. Which monster will you place your bets on? If you choose correctly, you might win a lot of gold. Each bet place will cost you 60 gold pieces. Would you like to place a bet? Sure, why not? Now I've never really been good at reading these whole betting things so let's let's just go with uh i know it's five to two odds so like for every two gold that i invest i get five something like that but since i invested 60 that's like that's a lot <laughs> or here it is then you better hurry on over to the arena Match is about to start. I've never been good at math, man. I don't know what to tell you. And then they come out and they fight. And the three of them fight one another. Well, that was a fast attack on the Raven. Good thing I didn't vote for that one. Come on. You got this, buddy. Dodge it. Ah. Oh. Perished. 60 bucks lost. But we can, con uh, if you win, you can continue writing it until just astronomical amounts of gold gets made. But that's assuming you win. Hey, you guys hail from Aliahan, don't you? I could tell right away. Is it the armor? It's probably the armor. Yep. Hard hurt. I don't actually, actually know what the hard hurt is. Hard heart does. Jesus. Nothing of interest. Smart book. And nothing. Now the last time I was here, I know that I missed a couple of things. Uh Okay. I know what those are. I believe. Small metal. Good. That's in the pot. Dang it. Oink. Another hat. Saved myself 80 bucks. This is such frightening times. I sure hope our king can get us all through them. Probably not. Considering what I know about the king, probably not. Hello. Bobby! Come here, boy! Oh, he's calling for his dog. Which is over here. There's a reason the dog's over there. We'll wait until midnight for that. Go over here. Another small metal. Let us go have a chit chat with the king after talking to the rest of his subjects in here. Such as those that are in. Ooh. I want those. Don't know what's in them, but I want them. Oh, 
Uh, oh, this is a jail. Oh, I found the jail waiting down below. Leave me alone. I'm not one of Kandar's henchmen. How many times must I tell you this? Oh, I'm really sorry. I thought you were one of the castle's guards. I don't know why they think I'm in league, league with Kandar. Absolutely cannot stand that guy. This in Champagne Tower, where he recruits his followers. Really wish someone would go there and kick his ass. Oh, so they can't say bomb, but they can say ass. Ah, yeah, well. There's me and Han over this way. Can't open that door just yet. I was attacked on my way here from Kazav and dropped all my goods. I'm safe now, but my business is ruined. I'm sure he's fine. So many towers. I find it funny. Ah, that they have a prison tower on one place. My son loves having fun, but that hasn't changed since he became the king. We're in a lot of trouble. That they put his father in another tower. Ah, the Pachisi ticket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some fun with that. Theoretically. I don't know if there's more. Yeah, there is one more. Uh, but there's actually one more. Sir, this is why I hate half moving shit. There's one more uh, token? Small metal. Okay. There's a reason why I have, I'm following a guide for those, because I will not find all the small metals if I just rely on my wit. There seemed to be a lot more monsters in this area when I first arrived. There are very tough monsters in the east. If I were you, I'd head to the north first and get some more experience. Can't tell me what to do. I mean, he can. Whether or not I follow his instructions, that's another question. I can listen to the wind's whisper. Would you like me to tell you what it's saying? Er, far to the west of Kazav lies the massive Champagne Tower. I hear that Alihan is a beautiful place, and that it's full of wonderful people. Please listen to our king's humble request. Is it? Is it humble? Are you going to be humble about this? Welcome! I've heard about what happened to Ortega. Eliza needs 150... Yeah. So, for those that don't know, the kings will tell you how much experience points it takes for your separate characters to level up. Ah, only 20 more for a... Hmm. Let's go ahead and save, though. I haven't saved since I started the game. Good thing I haven't needed to take a break. Sure, I'll continue my journey. I have a favor to ask of you. Kandar stole our golden crown and escaped from the kingdom with it. Please help us get it back, and I'll recognize you as a true hero, Darius. Sure, I can do that. We gotta go north anyway. Uh, for two reasons. But first, what I would like to do is get some stuff you can only d get uh, at night around here. So just a little bit of grinding while we wait for night. Because again, time does not proceed unless you're walking back and forth. We'll ice bolt the Venom Toads and hope that they just die. Ooh, that one ran. I don't think I've ever seen one of those guys run. Certainly not in tests. Oh, they hit hard though. 11 damage. That's a lot at the moment. Eee, there's the level 4 Zid. I love how the party composition of this is pretty much like the one from the poster that I had as a kid. Except it's not. Uh, loss of illusion, increases speed, banish. Let's see if we can't banish someone. I don't think I've shown off banish yet. Expel. I don't think it worked. Ugh. Slapping me for one damage? Jerk. 
Let's focus on those caterpillars still. Expel! Nope. Weird. The, um... Game Boy Color version still has the animation happen. Whereas this version, it just doesn't work. Alright, I need to heal. Zida. Thank you. Yeah, things around here hurt. Uh, right. I forget what the hard heart. Oh, it's an accessory. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Uh, I should actually give that to Darius. Ch person. I don't know what that means. Oh, chink. I had the wrong thing selected. Give it to Darius so that he can equip it. Now, I think it also... Does it also change his thing? One second. I'm gonna toss some of this shite back in the bag. Bag... Bag. 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 Wait, no. Oh! That's worse! Uh... 25, 26, 18... Let's give it to... Eliza. She needs... This is a smidgen more defense. Again, we'll work on her... We'll work on everyone's defense. After I cheese the other frick out of the Coliseum. Alright. Kill the Caterpillar! Oh, I forgot I was gonna check out whether or not uh, Darius's thing had changed. <laughs> Ooh, that was a sound. Uh, actually, back up. Heal Darius. <coughs> that boy- ooh. Oh no. Why? Hate. So much hate. Hate you a lot. Ah, I forgot Albarage can do that. Albarage can put an entire party to sleep with like one spell. As long as he doesn't cast any more. Ouch. Uh, what am I doing? Cast the heal. I wasn't entirely paying attention. I was trying to read what the hard heart does. But I think we're good. Okay. Now that that's done. Uh, press. Oh, hard heart. Oh, it's five, it's ten vitality. And it changes one's attitude to diligent, which actually increases one's vitality. Did I read that right? No, it, it increased my attack. I'm now worldly. Hold up. Find worldly. Okay, it's called diligent in the Game Boy Color version, and this it's the worldly. So what does diligent do? Game. Diligent, aka plutter. Plug plugger? Okay, that's a word. Uh high vitality. All right strength, well, pretty damn good strength. 
but worse. Agility, intelligence, and luck. I don't hate it. More stamina is good. Oh, the Batmans. Fun fact, in the Game Boy Color version, they're called a uh, Mana Bat. So, these exist. They're essentially vampires. And also cast the stop spell. <sighs> it's effectively the silence spell. I hate it. I hate it ever so much. Well, at least that whip is doing its work. Ugh, that's seven damage. There you go. Get kicked in the teeth. Now that it's night, we can actually grab something from over here. Remember where that dog was trying to dig? Another Pachisi ticket. I like it. Pachisi is actually a really damn good time. Uh, we're gonna quickly hit the end. Alright, I'm to what the hell. Um, what am I doing? I want to look at my attack after I unequipped and re-equipped any whip, that, no shield, put in helmet. Okay, it says attack 29. If I unequipped it, Stamina is reading a 19. Stamina 19, attack 43. 23, attack 29. Okay, then go into info. Yeah, okay. That is just a typo. It is changing stamina. Not attack. That's fine. I do like myself some high stamina. But let us finally travel to the north. I will be grinding after this video significantly. Uh, but I will be also getting a load of money. Why? Because I can. Grinding for experience points is one thing. Grinding for money is tedious. I'm weird about that when it comes to grinds. Uh, also, I forgot to set it up so as the game would fill up the entire window. Oops. Actually, no. Is the game filling up the entire game window? I'll check it out after. Recording this is weird. Put it that way. Because no matter where I am, there is a nice border around it, a black, and I'm fine with that. But only in battles does it push to the right. It's like, why does that happen? Heal up for Rye. Ugh, Rye having this much HP, it's alarming. Alright, now this looks like a shrine, but this is actually one of the best things in this entire damn game. Oof. Ah, again I failed. I won't give up. Someday I'll finish this. Here? Oh no, I literally did this the other day. Starting area? A cheesy ticket. We now have three. Look, there's an opening up there in the ceiling. But what's up there? Welcome to Pachisi. This 
is perhaps one of the most fun activities in the game, and unfortunately, you can, until a certain point, you can only play it so many times. So, you gotta make them count. By making them count, I mean you, you pretty much have to get the tickets from wherever you can. But we're gonna have our hero go through this. <clears throat> Welcome! One game of PC will be one ticket. You like to try it? Sure. Then please give me your ticket. You'll be given ten turns to complete this board. Good luck. For each turn, you roll the die. Um, let's see. So, trees, grass, hills all have chances of random encounters or finding an item. Uh, question marks are completely random events, and this could be from really powerful fights to uh, stats permanently, actually factually permanently, going up or down, and just any other random thing. That electrical field? Don't land there. That only does damage. The dice plus and minus will increase or decrease the amount of rolls. Treasure chests are one-time collection treasures. Uh, I don't think that there's anything too impressive around here. I don't think. Arrows down pushes you back two spaces and you encounter that space behind it. Arrows up pushes you forward that amount of spaces and then you encounter those spaces. Um, let's see, I think that one, the yeah, that's an item shop. Jars, dressers, and the whatnot, I think you can only check out twice? And I do not remember what it is that the weird skull thing does. Give me a moment while I figure out what the weird skull thing does. Tiles. Okay, that is a gas trap. A mysterious trap sprays out and strips your character of MP. That sucks. Chain slots, which are actually the ones that I want to hit the most, you roll three dice, and those dice determine what stats, what stat, increases or decreases, and by how much. Not necessarily in that order. Um, there is also a U-turn that will return you to start, a traveler's gate, which will put you on another gate on the board, and then that uh, slime bouncing there is just, yeah, you, you automatically start a fight. And of course the gold is on there with the pluses and the minuses. That's plus or minus gold. Yeah. Uh, I think that covers it. Let's hope I don't die. Uh, let's go for the plus. One, two. Trip to the item shop. <gasps> Look, it's a cool merchant dude. Uh, oh. Okay, this is an early chance to get some pretty good armor and weapons. I would love a shield. But I don't have that kind of money on me. Oh, I can access my bag from here to sell, though. Nah, I'm good. For the now. One, two. A little bit of extra money. Oh, I didn't cover the trap doors. Those immediately eject you from the game. One, two, three, four. For the treasure chest for the boomerang. Excellent. Boomerang's a pretty good weapon. Again, it's like the whip, but it does all the enemies in the area. Darius' stats are about to change. Roll the die. So this affects my luck. It goes four points up. Nice. Not the best. I would have preferred strength or vitality myself, but hey. One, two, three. Ah, monsters. Oh boy. This might hurt a little bit. Let's take out the frog wars as fast as we can. There we go. <laughs> Uh, any monsters that you encounter here as well, the experience only goes to the character that goes through the Pachisi track. So keep that in mind. Now, an important thing about this, 
you have to land on the goal with your die roll. If you get too much, you'll go backwards for a little bit, and then the next roll you push forwards again. So we do not want to get a three or a five. No, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We're good as long as we don't get a three. Watch me say that, and now I get a three. Close. Ah, monsters. I think the monsters are only from areas that you've already been to. Don't quote me on that, because I really don't know. Hmm. Alright, I have to roll a one. One. And not a three. Yes! First try, mofos! Love it. Love this game. We get a free steel sword. And 500 gold. Well done, you've won! Now claim your prizes and exit through that hole. Don't fall down there before claiming your prizes or else you have to do it all over again. That was actually a miraculous result. Usually I get a little bit shafted. Ah, steel sword. Awesome. Uh, that was put into my bag, wasn't it? I don't know. So, I could increase Darius's to 58, or I could increase Eliza's to 73. Arai and Zid cannot wield it. I think I'm gonna go with Eliza. We'll trade off the... that. Oh, that's such a good, good round. So good around. Uh, this does increase your attack power, but again, the amount of damage that you do as you go down the group will decline. So if you're facing like four dudes and then two dudes in two separate groups, you'd prefer the whip, but the boomerang is for for smaller amounts of enemies all at once. Actually, can I give this to Brian? Oh, I could give it to Zid. Sure. One more person that can do a little bit more damage. Da, 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 da. Oh, so good! <laughs> I'm not gonna get over that. That was just a really damn good, but cheesy match. Um, you do like one damage, dude. Even with your with that dagger. I'm gonna put that into the bag. I don't think it's doing anyone any good. Now, I can go about multiple times on the same course, but the only benefit of that would be to increase or decrease stats. Well, not decrease stats, but to increase the stats. Uh, and find any particular equipment that might be missed. Uh, we are going to quickly return back to the king. Where's the wings? There they are. Back to the king and Romilly. Because that was too good. Too good. If I did not rest and save and call an episode there uh, uh, and forgot, I would have lost my mind. That was good. But yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go up and save. All an episode. And when we return, what I want to have done, well, I've gotten a lot of money off of the monsters. 68 experience, 17 experience, 128, 183. I will also do some grinding. Emulation problems, but okay. Uh, I don't think I'll have used the Pachisi track anymore yet. Because as much as stat ups are great, and I could just cheese that crap, I think I've gotten most of what I can get out of that one. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, uh, I shall continue off to the north 
Supposedly with a stronger party, more equipment, and all the gold I should possibly need for the rest of the game. That's a lie, I'm going to need a lot more gold. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying the series as much as I'm loving playing it. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.